All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Gartner Data and Analytics Summit. It's day one. I'm super excited to meet Roy and Tom together, co-founders of Definity. Uh, first of all, super excited to be ch uh, having you both on the Robert Show. It was uh, Roy. I know we kind of spoke a little about you know catching up, and today we're going to go much more deeper into data observability, about uh, data quality, and much more. Uh, so excited to chat about that. Also, since we're here at Gartner, I'm pretty sure you all might have also seen a quick report by Gartner that they came up recently was about a big gap in the capabilities of uh, the observability space uh, and. I'm curious to chat about that, but uh, just for our audience, before getting into that, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about uh, what does Definity do and uh, what are you all doing here at Gartner? Yeah, great. Hi, Ravit. Nice to meet you. Same here. And I'm Tom, VP R&D, co-founder of Definity. Thank you. And I'm Roy, the co-founder and CEO of Definity. Um, so Definity is a data observability and optimization platform. Yep. Uh, very much designed for the Spark ecosystem and Data Lakehouse ecosystem. Uh, we provide a full stack data observability, so all the way from data, pipelines, performance, usage. Uh, we'll cool. talk about it very much more today, but uh, yeah, we're excited to be here talking to really you know, uh, innovative data leaders that are really pushing the envelope on Fantastic. On uh, a lot of, you know, obviously, uh, I know we chatted before as well. I'm kind of uh, curious about a lot of things, but how about we talk a little about what are the key observability gaps that enterprise teams have today? What are you listening from the customers? I know you all have big logos there uh, whom you all cater to, so curious to know about that from you. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, yeah, we speak to data teams all over and, and we are hearing those gaps um, that I think Gardner nicely called out in their report a few months ago. Um, up to now in the data space, there was a lot of focus on data and data quality. Right. Makes sense. There is really uh, you know, a gap in terms of how teams are looking at overall uh, workloads. Mm. They're looking at pipeline health. They're looking at infrastructure performance. They're yeah. looking at cost. Yeah. They're looking at usage. Um, and oftentimes, just looking at the data um, symptoms, I would call it, that's the output of everything, right? Yeah. It's really much missing the underlying system that is generating this data. Mm. Um, so a lot of gaps around that, which of course then translates to issues, not being caught, caught too late, the inability mm. to maybe resolve them easily, um, of course, higher costs. Um, so a lot of stuff that we see around that, um, and especially in the Lakehouse ecosystem, in the data warehouse, cloud, kind of modern data stack, ecosystem that's maybe easier to, to track mm. on the data lake house Spark ecosystem that's, that's much harder, uh, workloads are heavier, much mission, more mission critical, um, and we see a big gap there. Yeah, I, I'm also curious, first of all, great insights there. Curious, uh, you know, uh, off air I know we spoke about full stack data observability, right? I'm kind of curious to know about that, uh, you know, and what does Definity do in that space? How are you all catering to that space? Yeah, so, as I mentioned, like we are a full stack data observability. What does mm. it mean? It means that we monitor in real time and completely out of the box without any code changes, everything starting from data and data quality through jobs execution and health and flow and lineage down to infrastructure performance, usage, and all the way down to cost. Mm. Um, we provide all of that and we are not only providing monitoring of that, but because we have this very rich data and context around yep. us, we are able to provide smart and intelligent triage around that. We're able to provide recommendations and insights and really pushing the envelope to become much more actionable. So teams are not just flooded with a lot of alerts, but also can go and resolve issues very, very quickly. All right, those were fantastic insights, uh, Roy, that you mentioned about. Uh, quick question for you, uh, Tom. What are some of the hidden areas that data teams don't pay attention to? Because you work uh, and you research, you are in the, you know, in this space and researching a lot. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, um, so I think one interesting trend that we see is advanced teams starting to look for CI CD solutions yeah. in the data space, right? Trying to catch things as early as possible. Um, not catching them after deploying and, 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 and cost a lot. Um, and what we, what we see in this space is actually three use cases, right? So CICD mm. for 
the most common upgrades of, nice. of, of logic, of analytics. Um, CI CD for platform teams want to, to seamlessly upgrade um, versions for yep. the teams. Um, and for migrations as well, teams that are migrating from one platform to another, from on-prem to cloud, from um, from one cloud to another, we also see a wish to, to do the migration seamlessly and to expect what are the outcomes. Yeah. So based on this trend, um, we actually launched um, a new solution for CI-CD testing for, for your advanced teams. Mm. And what you already see with one of our Fortune 500 customers is a six-month savings of, um, of migration of Spark version. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. Uh, I also have one curious question for you, Roy, uh, and that is more about the trends, the shifts. What are you kind of seeing in 2025, or maybe say the last two quarters, uh, that things have kind of moved uh, for the enterprises, and what are, what is the shift? I'm kind of yeah. wanting to know a little about that. Great, great question, because again, we do see shifts in the market, right? Yeah. Um, I think number one that we're seeing is teams really are shifting toward you know, they're coming from an alert fatigue place. Mm. They're really looking toward actionability. Very true. In order for that, you know, to, to make this happen, they're looking for much more context, mm. rich data, right? right? Um, again, everyone is talking about how AI and how agents will, will kind of, uh, you know, revolutionize the space. But I think that the promise for that is, and the premise for that is, what is actually the underlying data that you can then leverage for AI? And again, especially in the Spark Lakehouse ecosystem, yeah. you need all of this full stack data in order to, to shift there. Very important. The second piece that we're seeing is very strong cost pressures. Um, and teams are really looking to optimize jobs, optimize workloads, do more with less. So optimization is critical. Yeah. And, the third, and the last thing that I'll say is standardization. Mm. Teams don't want you know, 20 different tools they're moving into, uh, you know, uh, open data formats and uh, table formats. I think as a big part of that, they don't want one tool for data quality, one tool for lineage, one tool for cost monitoring, one tool for optimization. They're really looking for something that will cover, again, this what we call full stack data observability. Um, pretty big trends. Yeah, I think uh, you mentioned about a very good point there, but I'm also curious to have like a follow-up question to that. Which is about, you know, the impact when you're kind of talking about the, to drive full stack data uh, observability, uh, how is definitely specifically doing that? Can you share a little about that too? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, Tom shared a great example where our, yeah. our CI/CD capabilities really help accelerate platform upgrades and migrations. Um, the first thing, we are, we just helped recently, uh, uh, you know, a global leader e-commerce yeah. really prevent data and pipeline incidents saves millions of dollars by Very preventing true. those incidents in real time and accelerating developers' velocity, data developers' velocity, yeah. by root causing and resolving issues, again, with full contact sectionability, three clicks. Um, so really pushing the envelope there in terms of business impact that, you know, bad business losses and, and in terms of velocity. And the other piece is, as I mentioned, optimizations. Our Spark optimization, performance, and cost optimization solution. Uh, we just helped, uh, again, another global enterprise um, identify more than 40% waste in their workloads. Mm. And then using our recommendations, again, job level recommendations, optimize 19% of their platform costs. Okay. Um, so big dollars in the bank in terms of performance and cost. That's something pretty interesting that you mentioned and uh, great work that you all have done in this One space. One quick question that I have, uh, because I know for a fact where you all share a lot of things uh, online as well and you all have like a lot of reading material that people can look at and if they want to educate them more, where can they reach out to you guys? Uh, how can they learn more about the things that Definity is doing? Uh, is there a place, uh, maybe LinkedIn? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So for, first of all, yes, we are, of course we are on LinkedIn. Uh, you can always go to our website, definity.ai. Yep. Um, look, we are always happy to have those type of conversations, kind of pushing the envelope in terms of data observability, optimization. Happy to book demos and, and, and show like the all those capabilities that we know from our own experience, like yeah. the data engineers yeah. want. Um, Love it. And, and you know, that we as data engineers and as data engineering leaders want it for our organizations too. Love it. Uh, this is great, uh, great conversation, great uh, insights that you all have shared. Uh, 
uh, we'll keep the conversation going and definitely looking forward to learning more about the things that y'all are doing in this space. So well done on uh, definitely and great work that you are doing. Thank you for having us, Ravi. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us today.